and welcome back to Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time I premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think. And now it's time for Juan Golf and I to go to California to watch a sovereign citizen get pulled over not once, but twice. What's your name and your badge number? Come down. Clear, you don't right have to get loud. Right you don't have to escalate down. anything, okay? Please. Get your hands out of the car now. You know I don't have to consent. You know it's illegal for you to turn on the lights unless it's an emergency. Get your hands out of the car now, bro. Get please. Get your hands out of the car now. Or you're getting arrested for 148. What is 148? 148. It's obstructing a peace officer. Obstructing you on what right, capacity? Get out, get out of the car. Are you seriously? I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I'm ordering you as a peace officer in the state of California to get out of the car. Policy That's enforcer, okay? Get out of the car. There's a difference between common law. Let me get your superior because obviously you guys are all hyped up, ready to do s for get nothing. Please. Yes. Get out of the car. I'm not going to comply. Do you know that by me complying, I'm giving you authority over myself? Look. For no reason. For a policy? Get out of the car. There's a big difference. No, look. You guys are just ready to blow up over nothing. What are you? What is the big issue? Get out of the car. You know, that's why I drove in here, right? No. Because obviously, I already know how Glendale police are. I mean, uh, you guys are just... I'm a, I'm, I'm a resident from... Oh, I'm not going to even say resident because then I fall under your jurisdiction. Get out of the car right now. Let me wait until your policy... I gave you an order to get out of the car multiple times. Get your superior to get over here and then I'll comply. Because at this point, you're already you. hyped up. You're, you're, you're yeah. yelling you know over nothing. Because we lit you up at Orange Grove first. Exactly. And you, and you want me to pull out you on, to do, by right? the side of the street on a dark you know area? Right? Right? You have a driver's license, sir? Yes or no? You need to. I don't answer questions. Yes, you do. I don't answer questions. On a lawful questions. traffic stop, I can request your your ID. Do you have an ID? Have I broken the law? Yes, you have. I can tell you three things I'm pulling you over for right now, and one I'm going to arrest you for. Law or Look. or policy? Because there's difference. Law. There's law. a difference, okay? Statutory law or common law? You because there's a big difference. registration. You have dark window tint applied to your front two windows. Mm -hmm. Have you run the plates? And have you run the you plates? You don't have a front license plate. Have you run the plates? Okay. Have you run the plates? So guess what? You're gonna get out of the car. Have you run the plates? You're gonna get out of the car. You're the easy. Do way. me a favor. Run the plates. You're gonna get out of the car. You know I do not have a do not detain order, right? You know why? Why that uh, is? Guess what? You, you know why that is, though, I right? I told you. Have, have you run you. the plates? Please run the plates. I'm giving call, you an order. Call your as superior. A in the state of California. To get a out of the policy car. enforcer. There's a difference, Are you okay? Get out of the car, yes a, or no? There's the United States State the Union, yes no? the the Republican, and okay. then there's the corporation. Guess what? You're gonna get out of the car. I know. Wait till you're superior, no. sir. And that's if I decide car. if he actually states a common law right why I'm being pulled or or even arrested or subjugated to your Do you have a driver's license? unlawful stop. Do you have a driver's license? I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you and do. I, on a traffic stop, you have to identify a yourself. traffic stop unless a crime has been committed. Sir, I'm Look, giving you an order. Get your superior, get brother, please, right, because you're obviously just. I've given you multiple options. Brother, I brother, brother, I brother, brother, brother. Please run vehicle. the plates. I have a do not detain order for a reason, okay? You want no. me to give you my, my, my trustee? He's a judge. Okay? I don't care who your judge, who your friend is. He's not I about friends. It's not about friends. Stop. Oh, my God. I've already given multiple Morning. orders and multiple options to get out of the car and you would not get out of the car, sir. I've already informed about 148 as well. Okay, do you have a driver's license from him yet? No, he has not provided any information. We let him up on the road and the first to continue to drive, failing to yield, and then you find the It was just down the corner. And that's because it's in a dark area. I don't want to pull over by the side of the road where people can't see us. Okay. Everybody run us over. Can you do me a favor and hand them your ID? Do you know that by me handing him my ID, I'm, I'm admitting, I'm, I'm willing to contract? I don't want a contract. We're contract all working mean? in a contract capacity, right? What does that mean? You're working in your corporate fiction capacity as a peace officer for the statutory United States of America Corporation. I'm from the Republic. I'm we the people. I don't, I don't, I don't submit to your statutory rules and then have to be filed liable if I consent to any of these little things i'm saying yes okay let's agree let's 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 contract i don't wish to contract okay. We're, we're, okay. look there's something called the breaking the presumption okay i'm a living man okay. a corporate fiction can't harm a living man okay son of god i'm putting myself under the jurisdiction of god 
okay? And I'm saying I deny it uh, myself for contract or my property. It's already in my one UCC one filings. My trustee is a judge. Run the plates. Have I have a do not detain list. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's just. Do you have any driver's license at all? I do. Okay. Is it valid? It's valid. Is this car registered to you? It's registered to my mother. Okay. Where do you live? By answering, I'm not consenting to any searches or any. I'm just so on, on, a, on, a, on a honest, just don't worry about it type. Like, I'm a neighbor. I live right here. On do you understand? At, at I understand. I understand. Like, but I'm, I'm just trying to educate that the fact that this, it, it, he does, has no rights to turn on the lights unless it's an emergency. I know you guys run the policy That's differently. That's true. Um, because there's the difference between statutory. But we're all under high seas. You don't make any sense at all. I understand what you were saying. Okay. However, there is a law of delaying an officer's investigation. I don't want to take someone to jail on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't cooperate, that's what's gonna happen. Sir, so, I've cooperated. Like, no, you're not. Many cooperate. years. No, 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 no. This is a step, like in our social, economic understanding of our roles in life. Okay, these are unalienable rights that we have to stand on and stand up for. Otherwise, what a society. I'm, I'm not breaking the law. I can drop off my wife at work. I live just down the corner. I do this every day. I didn't break the law. Okay. That's fine. So why escalate it? If you escalate it, that's your decision because you want to contract by your by your boss. And it's not that's not how the republic is built on. We have these rights that we're okay. You're impeding me in in my in my journey in life to to pursue the pursuit of happiness. And I'll, and and I'm not doing nothing to infringe on anybody else. Whether I have a license, whether I don't have a license, whether I have insurance, whether I have my seatbelt on, they're not they're. They don't have a victim. When there's a victim, the victim is the state of California. The state of California is a corporation. A corporation cannot harm a living man. I already broke that presumption in court. I already have a trustee. I already and, and I'm. That that's in a safe in my house. Okay, you that on but you? that's why I told you. I have some paperwork. Do you want me to pull out some stuff? But I, look, I, once I, I state my name, I'm giving you open windows to contract with my corporate fictions. I can wear many hats, just as a judge wears many hats in a court just as you're wearing your sergeant's hat right now. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want a contract. I just want to go home so I can go to work because I have a lot of stuff to do because Christmas and everybody wants to go home. I'm like, okay. you, you understand that delaying an investigation, you will be going to jail tonight? Delaying an investigation? Okay. What was the prior not, investigation? Not, was there a crime committed before that that I don't know about? I know this is- the officers with your identification, your driver's license at the time, are being stopped is resisting and delaying. Resisting okay. in the lane. Yep. How about I give you my judge's number? Let him explain it to you. You have a judge's phone number? Isn't that a corporation what you're calling? It is. But okay. when so, you so step into the public so and you assign him as your fiduciary trustee. I'm going to ask you a question. You're willing to go to jail on Christmas Eve? It's not that I'm willing. I'm gonna do it without my consent. It's gonna be done without my consent. It's gonna be in my. If it's gonna be done in force, because I'm not consenting to go and judge, and I'm. That's why I'm not giving you any documentation, because I know that once I give you the documentation, then all that is is actually consenting to your seizure, and and and, and see, admitting that I'm I'm of the of the of the democracy instead of the republic. Okay. With force, you can't most of the times that ends up being an altercation and I do not want to get an altercation with you. No, neither do I. I do not want to do it. So that's okay. your call though. That's not mine. Like I, I'm like I'm no, I'm going about my court. business. I'm going about my business. The like your court. Okay. Either provide us your permission, registration, insurance. Like exactly. So it's by force. It's by force because you're saying you're either gonna do that or there's gonna be an altercation. You're that's already a threat. Like you understand the reasoning though it's like this is something a great argument you could have in court no i don't have to have it in court i'm trying to open your mind to the reality that we're in like this is this isn't a communist this isn't like come on you don't care you don't just put your neck over anybody because you want a contract in the end that's all it is later
I really don't want to have an issue with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not afraid to, but I don't want to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will you at least provide us with your name so we could be on the way? Robert Mendoza. But um, I'm doing that as a courtesy, not as an open window to contract. Okay. Robert Mendoza, how old are you? 38. What? 38. 38? And this car is not registered to you, it's registered to your it's mom? my mother. Okay. And do you live there with your mom? Yes, she lives with me. Yeah. Robert Mendoza, 38. Okay. In Much, much, much later. Because you're making this difficult, mm -hmm. it's going to take us a little bit. That's fine. No, see, what happened there, is... There, there is no see. No. I've, I've run out of patience with you. Well, what's going to happen is we're going to uh, try and identify you and uh, write a crime report. And uh... You have the VIN number. You have the plates. There the is... The property I'm... is not is not stolen. There is no real okay, crime. Can you your registration so I can look at the VIN number? Sure, because so the United be States became insolvent and went bankrupt, we're, we're, you have to follow the rules of incorporation. Lessons, okay? Sir. You can get out. You can provide us with your DL if you have one. So you can, you can what? tell us if you're on probation or parole. Okay? But you're not going to do that, so it's going to take us a little bit longer. Because we're going to do our uh, computer work up and see if uh, we could uh, figure it out that way. What about writing the plates? You have the address on the plates, right? You have the people that live in that. There's a difference between statutory policy and common law. Common law are unalienable rights. Referred to in the Constitution. Because the United States went bankrupt. They have to and decided to incorporate they have to follow the rules of incorporation, which is a presentment and an acceptance. Business can't be conducted in force. It's that simple. Yeah, it's it's that simple, really. And Juan, what do you think about this first traffic stop? We sat through all his word salad of all the soft sit, uh, quote unquote, legal theories that they believe in. And uh, I'm going to run down a list of them here real quick because uh, we've covered all this stuff. Uh, of course, he starts out with it's illegal to use your emergency lights. Wrong. Uh, he didn't want to say he's a resident, but that has nothing to do with the traffic laws. You can be from a different country and you're still going to be subject to the traffic laws. You can be from Mars. You'd still be subject to the traffic laws. He's saying that uh, he didn't have to pr uh, produce his ID. Well, there was probable cause to stop him. And California law is uh, when you're stopped on the highways, uh, you have to produce your driver's license. He talks about statutory law versus common law. We'll cover that. He claims to have a do not be on a do not detain list. That's a bunch of BS. He talks about a judge being his trustee, his fiduciary. That's BS. That's some of the things that we've covered in the past. Um, showing your ID is not an offer or demand to contract with you. That's so stupid. I don't know where they get it. Giving your consent is not necessary, and consent does not indicate any type of contract. <clears throat> uh, the statutory corporation fiction can't harm a living being. Well, corporations harm living beings all the time by bad products, pollution, stuff like that. Uh, he talks about the UCC-1 filing for his car. We've covered that. UCC, it's not federal law, and not every state has adopted it in, in full. They've cherry-picked it. Uh, and all it does is govern financial uh, business transactions. Getting a ticket is not a business transaction. <laughs> uh, so in there, he again talks about the judge being his trustee, and the cop says, well, give me his phone number. And, well, no, the judge is not his trustee. Um, he says that he does have a driver's license. Well, lo and behold, so he does have a driver's license, and uh, everything, uh, he does have insurance, and they do identify him. But he also talks about that statutes are not the 
are not common law, so he doesn't have to follow them because of reasons. But statutes are basically the common law or the codification of the common law. And we have statutory law for the most part of the United States based on the common law. Mr. Mendoza. Yes, sir. Thank you for being honest at the end and mm -hmm. giving us your name, all right? Mm -hmm. So, just so you know, mm -hmm. you're, I told you the violations, correct? Just so you know, you were recording just like I was recording. Mm -hmm. Everything's documented, all right? Mm -hmm. Your car can get pulled over again by mm -hmm. any peace officer in the state of California. The same results or different results could happen. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a very stern warning, all right? Mm -hmm. You're more than welcome to come to the city of Burbank. Do not commit any crimes. Do not drive a car that doesn't comply with California vehicle codes. Do you understand? I see you again. You can get pulled over by myself or any other law enforcement agency here in the state. Okay. Do you understand? I have the plates on for a so courtesy. I'm not going to take any responses from you now. Okay. We're just going to go about our day. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I hope you enjoy your Christmas and your holidays, whatever you celebrate. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, bud. Thank you. Take care. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize that you're on probation for assault? A person wears many hats. <laughs> yes, sir. No, what's the question? Is the answer that I'm looking for? Do you recognize that you're on probation for assault? A so you're trying to pinpoint me into a box, into a. I'm trying to get you to understand if you're on probation for proba uh, on probation, yes or no. If I don't know, I don't know. I don't understand. You don't know. I don't understand. You've never been arrested for assault before. I don't understand. You don't understand. Do you understand getting your car registered? I did. Uh, common law. I did a UCC oh. one filing. Okay. It's now in the public. I leave. I leave the plates on there as uh, as just courtesy, oh. so they can identify the vehicle. But there's already a private lien on it, and it's private property. So when you register it, pretty much what you're saying is you're giving it up to the state so they have authority over it. I pulled it out of that authority. It's now private. Okay. We're, we're going to write a crime report, list you as a suspect for delaying. Okay. And also, we're going to copy and paste it to a probation violation and ask that the judge, uh, the district attorney, violate your probation. So the next time this happens, there's mm -hmm. a warrant in the system for your arrest. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do. I'm telling you what we're going to do. That's okay. fine. Then at that point, you won't have a choice. One week later. I need everybody to identify themselves. I need names and batch numbers. You guys took something personal that you didn't have to. Who's your superior? So you can what? Okay, so there's a schedule, right? A fee schedule. Now this is this is notice. I'm giving you notice. If you use my name, that's copyrighted. There's a $500,000 fine for every time you use my name without permission. I'm not going to apply willingly. If you were going to take me, it's going to be against my will. Now, 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 won't you, won't you take me? I'm not a 14th Amendment. Okay. Where's he at? Morning, sir. Same situation. Okay. I'm going to tell you you need to step out right now, okay? Sir, you know there's a difference between private in public i've stepped out of the private out of the public i'm in the private now this is private property i'm not driving i'm traveling okay. you've been uh given warning 
that you're delaying their investigation. Is that correct? Okay, now, a prior investigation or an investigation to fish for criminal activity? Because there's no criminal activity here. There's no prior violation. I'm telling you right now, from the past time that we dealt with you last week, as mm -hmm. well as today, Okay. You realize that you're delaying their investigation. Investigate. They're fishing. There is no investigation. If there is a prior investigation of a crime that was committed prior, you're driving a vehicle with extremely expired registration. That's in the private. That's in the private. Okay. You're driving on a California highway here on a road, a surface street. It's a public road. Okay. Let me ask you this question: Is there anything I could do to have you get out of the car? So what? So you can search it and seize it and so you can put me in cuffs and put me in your car? Is there anything I can do to get you to comply and get you out of that car peacefully? Is there any, any way... You can let me go about my business because obviously, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. I am not. So we're done. So See, you're fishing, trying to decide whether you're going to find something to incriminate me with or, or to pin me on some type of bogus charge. I'm telling you, I don't want to biz I don't want to do business because what you're doing is a presentment. I mean, you you could chop it off as this or this or that, but I don't want I don't want to consent to any business right now. I like I'm closed for business. I don't want I don't need to uh, subjugate myself to whatever you're gonna decide to charge me with. Like that's that's in the end of the day, that's what you're trying to do. It's fishing, and you're gonna say that it, it delaying an investigation, an investigation to what? An investigation for you to find something to charge Let me, me with? Interrupt you. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Is there anything I could say to get you to change your mind and get out of the car? Why do you want me to get out of the car? Because I'm ordering you to now. So you guys took it personal. Plain and simple. Waited for me all over the corner and just wait, wait again, right? Is there anything I can do to convince you to get out of the car? You. You got what I need. Anything short of getting involved in the altercation with you, which I don't want to have happen. I don't either. Okay. I want to go home. I have stuff to do. Everybody, I have to work. I have to make a living. And if this car isn't registered, it's because it's in the pri it's in the private now. And as I'm hard having to pay month to month rent and bills for the kids and bills for everything, you think I want my girl working? I have her working because I ha we have no choice. You know how expensive you just everything is. The question that I've asked you three times now: Is there anything I could do to get you to convince you to come out of that car peacefully? To do business. Period. Yes or no. I don't want to do business. I don't want to do business. Answer the question. Is there anything I could say to get you to change your mind to come out of the car peacefully? Answer yes or no. I can't afford taking this car out of the impound. I can't afford going to prison or jail for for because somebody's ego got hurt. So then so then comply with lawful orders if you don't want to go to jail. You, can you promise me that? Yeah, as soon as I get out of here, you're going to cuff me up. You're, you're going to take the car. Gonna I'm going to end up in the hole. Be because what? Because I consented. That's the end of the day. Once you consent, you open the door for contract. I don't want a contract is what I'm saying. Okay. So what is your answer? Yes or no? Is there anything I can tell you that makes you get out of the car peacefully? I'm not going to make promises about putting you in handcuffs or not. <laughs> see, see, see what it comes down to? Like do what I want, do what do do what I say, or yeah. I'm trying to be really nice and have a lot of patience for the second time now. <sighs> Did you look into what I told you last time about having me having the trustee about being in the private? Yes or no. I'm done. Com I'm done conversing with you. We did this before. I pulled up and I hear this officer giving you lawful orders to get out of the vehicle, and you are not. We don't, we don't need to have any more conversation about will you get out of the car or what kind of issues you have with the car being registered or you wanting to go to jail or not. We are done. Uh, we are past that. If you want to talk at the side of this window till the sun comes up and then to the whole next day, we'll do that too because I can talk with the best of them. But I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with you by doing that. You've decided, you've made up your mind, that's why. You're not open to, to the reality that we're in. Like, the, the it's reality, by force. It's, it's, the reality it's, that we're in is you are now delaying an investigation and, and refusing to comply with lawful orders. 
an investigation to fish to go do charges like that that's you can't put the apple before the i mean the horse before the the carriage before the horse it just makes no sense how, how am i delaying an investigation that has no prior merit okay this is the last time i'm going to ask you before we're done having this conversation are you willing to get out of the car lawfully on your own and peacefully by doing so i i don't i don't want to submit so submit myself to any jurisdiction of, of whatever contract you want to do like that that's that's the end of the, end of the day you want to you want to do that like that's fine. Can I speak to your superior? When we're done, not right now. He, there has to be someone that understands. I'm the one talking to you right now. Yes, but you don't want to understand that there's a private and a, and a public. That there's a 14th Amendment citizen that automatically does fall under your jurisdiction and is subjected to whatever you say. But like I told you, I already have my filings. This, and we're done? Talk to him all you want. When I'm cuffed up in a cell in the middle of nowhere, you think he's gonna step up and, and bother with me? He's saying you're going to, in a cell. Once you guys get me out of the car, everything's out the window. I I know how it works. You can talk to him all you want. You have my word. There's other crimes, a lot of things that you guys could be doing to have just uh, like step out of the car. I didn't, I'm not doing this as a challenge. I'm not doing it to bother you guys or, or it's just, I'm trying to go about my business and just do me and try to like, just everybody leave me alone. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I'm not, I'm not trying to get hurt. I'm not, it's, it's like, uh, you guys are just trying to escalate it into something that it's not. Step out of the car right now. Sir, I don't want to contract. I don't want, I know what you don't want to do, man. It'll be fine. Okay? You're going to be calm. We're going to be calm. And we're going to get through this. That's all it is. And you're going to nice and slowly open the door. We're going to nice and slowly pull you to the side over here. And then we'll go from there. Matter of fact, I'll call my supervisor once you get out of the car and we make sure that you don't have any weapons on you. I don't have any weapons. I'm telling you that. So we just need to make sure. Call your supervisor. Well, well right now I'm, I'm the supervisor out here. Oh, we'll call him once everything's secure and safe out here. Okay? See how everything I say can and will be used against me? I told you I do this every day. So you guys wait in on the corner for me again. And see, that's why I don't like answering questions. Okay. So go ahead and step out and then we'll go from there. Call your supervisor, brother, because obviously. Do you understand? I am the supervisor right here right now. At the moment, yes, but you're not. You're not. You're not listening to reason. That this is not a Fourteenth Amendment type situation. Robert. Yes. Why wouldn't you just step out of the car? Because I know what happens. You cuff me up. You throw me in the back. You ransack my stuff. You give me tickets. You you take the car, and then I'm asked out wet. So then, if you know that, why didn't the first time? You're gonna do it because you didn't just step out of the car. Because I, because I've already went. How do you how I've, do you know, Robert? How do you know I wasn't just going to give you a ticket or give you an, a warning? How do you know that? Do you know that, Robert? As soon as I as soon as I pull over, what are you doing? Screaming, yelling! You were ready to draw your gun. Yeah, because you're on probation for two forty five on a peace officer. <laughs> With a gun. Do you under do you understand? <laughs> you failed to tell us that you're on probation. You failed to identify yourself. Your car's way expired. Okay? Do you understand where I'm coming from? You know that you've shot at a police officer before. So you don't even know the facts. Okay. You don't even know the facts. Have you gone and looked into a case so, into a case that you assume you know? You don't okay, even know the facts. Fine. Let's do this. You you're on probation for 245. You think I am? You think, are you sure that's me? I have triple verified. Did you know that before you pulled me over last time? No, but you were screaming ready to pull the trigger before you even knew who I was. If you say that Can is I me, in fact. To you, last time what happened? What was it? You went almost two, three blocks, right? I have no weapons. That's fine. I just I'm, not, I'm not a harm to anybody. Can I get your spear? Can I get your superior? 
Where's Besides that guy. You, you, hold on, you're not reading this game. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, automatically, you guys want to step on somebody's neck and just force orders. But it's not, you're not, you're not hitting the, the ball, the nail at all. Trying to formulate sentences that don't even make sense. It's all right. You know, we're living in a bankrupt society, right? You're not teaching us anything, okay? Nothing you already don't know, which is even worse because, you know, knowingly knowing this, you're still decide to go that route. Hey, I see the sun you have up there, right? Excuse you me? Son of God? Yes. Okay. You know what the Bible tells us about uh, obeying authority? Yes. You do? It says that we shall uh, obey the authority that is set here on earth. That's how we honor God, correct? Correct. So right now we're the authority, right? So it's as simple as stepping out and we conduct our investigation and then my partners decide what to do. But if you're going to be proclaiming that, you should follow what you are proclaiming, correct? If exactly. it says that you shall you shall abide by the authority that has been put in this earth, and that's us. And I do. You're not, I don't break the law. You. I don't break the law we're willingly. We're lawful order. Therefore, we're yeah. abiding by what you believe, correct? There's... So now you're contradicting yourself. So instead of making this easier no. and living by what you're proclaiming that you live by, mm -hmm. you're just making this harder. Okay. You've been done with this a long time ago. There's a difference. It's not a difference. Common law. Okay, look. It's not, it's the... not a difference. The Bible is clear on saying that you, you shall obey the law and, and, and the authority that's put here on earth. Now you're just contradicting yourself. And you're saying that the Bible is contradicting itself. No, the Bible yes, is not contradicting is, itself. Exactly. There's only one supreme law. That's the Father. That's Him. That's the law. But He says you shall abide by the law that's put here on earth by men. It's clear as day. And we're the law and you're not obeying. You're just making this way harder. This could have been done a long time ago. If you step out, you're abiding by what you live, we're done with this. <laughs> what is your first name again? Excuse me? What is your first name again? You, you, you told me last week. I don't remember telling you this week or last week. I have week. something to show you. If you refuse to continue to comply with our instructions and our orders, you will be uh, sitting there and we will be deploying some uh, chemical agents into your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay? It will hurt you. I don't want that to happen. Okay, I know, but it's going to if you continue to refuse to comply. We will deploy chemical agents in your vehicle until you come out. Do you understand me? Why would you want to do that? It'll be you want to, you, you, you willingly want to hurt somebody. I do not. Then why would you want to do that? Because I, I don't want to, but you're refusing to comply. So I'm going to give you another warning. You want me to come? So, so. You're going to get chemical agents in your, in your, in your vehicle. And it will be unpleasant for you. You guys are too much. Okay. So automatically, because you find something on the record that you don't like, you're going to decide to target them because you don't even know the facts. You, you like. understand what I'm saying? You're going to have chemical agents deployed into your vehicle. I don't want chemical vehicles in my, uh, uh, chemical you, agents in my vehicle. Gap and you're gonna step out. There's a reason why they're wearing gas masks because it's not pleasant. No, no, watch out. Okay, step out, step out then. This is your your last warning. You should have given him, giving him like. Uh, this is your last. This warning. is a stick of pills, and you're giving him a, like. Go ahead, run it. You're going to step out. Put it away. Yes or no? Yeah, I'm gonna step out, okay. but I'm not. I'm gonna do it, and it's it's, it's only under duress. Okay. I'm letting that put it on the record. It's only under duress because I don't want to get hurt. I don't want nobody else to get hurt, and because obviously you guys are just okay. don't want to listen to reason. Open that door, and we'll do nice and calm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take my seatbelt off. Okay. Let me just drink some tea real quick. I'm gonna get out. Like this is just up, man. He got a warning and disregarded it. 
Now he's facing a whole different set of circumstances. Now, what if he goes to trial? <clears throat> and what if, like other soft sits with his beliefs, uh, he undergoes a psych eval? Rarely do we get to hear things about a uh, soft sit that goes under a psych eval. We happen to have a uh, short clip here of one who did. And uh, we get the doctor's diagnosis of it. I think you'll find this very interesting. So uh, stay tuned. You're going to see something very rare. Dr. Williamson, um, I had uh, entered an order uh, calling for an evaluation of, uh, for, uh, for competence to proceed, and you received a copy of that order, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Now, um, you have uh, uh, reviewed various documents purportedly um, authored by Mr. That is correct, Your Honor. And his pursuant to an, appoint to an appointment um, I understand made by his uh, counsel, he appeared at your office for the interview that was contemplated by that order. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. Now, we have, uh, both counsel and I have reviewed a, I've reviewed a uh, document entitled Competency Evaluation of yours. Could you share those impressions with us? Yes, Your Honor. It appears to me that is suffering from uh, delusional disorder, um, primarily grandiose and persecutory type. Um, and that typically is a diagnosis that is part of um, uh, individuals that have psychotic uh, processes. However, you can have delusional disorder um, without um, hallucinations or thought disorder, uh, things of that nature. Um, I would add that having reviewed, and at that point there was only an initial document uh, filed, uh, actually a, a written uh, note, I believe, from his mother, but having read over the other documents, um, I would add some concerns about, you know, possible thought disorder. Um, and I say that simply because the uh, legal texts that are, or responses that were made by Mr. Um, are, diff are difficult to understand. It, 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 all, it seems very similar to what we would call a word salad uh, type of presentation when we're talking to um, you know, someone who is suffering from a psychotic disorder and uh, they're basically not making sense. There's uh, a, what we call loosening of associations and uh, referential thinking where they will go back to what they've said before, but really there's a lack of coherence, if you will, um, in their oral presentation. So in looking at the written documents, um, and certainly I'm not a legal expert, but looking up some of the words and things that were used by me in the general presentation of the documents, um, it would look uh, nonsensical, if you will. Um, I'm, it's not clear to me what point he is making um, or what his defense is, even though he, you know, is making the point that he's able to represent himself. Um, so all I'm saying is that in addition to the delusion uh, that I definitely saw, um, I do have some concerns now about a thought disorder. Dr. Williamson, I wanted to ask you about the, the nature of his apparent delusions. Yes, sir. Um, Oftentimes, we see people who have some some um, unorthodox beliefs here in court, and they sometimes are part of a sometimes they are part of 
what might be characterized as a sovereign citizen movement, where they, where they, where they're um, oftentimes seeking to frustrate law enforcement and obstruct the processes in court. Um, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Is that is that a fair characterization from your impression? Um, certainly, I can see that as an interpretation, and I am aware of this uh, sovereign citizen um, concept or um, idea. Um, having evaluated individuals who have taken that approach, um, I would say there is a distinction, and that distinction would be while I do agree that there's an attempt to, in essence, say that the laws and uh, judicial process, you know, do not apply to him, um, the reasoning is substantially more illogical, it seems to me, than your uh, typical individual who is um, uh, making that sovereign citizen, if you will, defense. So, uh, what I'm saying here is that there seems to be a lot more disorganization and lack of clarity. Um, and even though when you evaluate individuals with the sovereign citizen concept, um, you know, they, they often have presuppositions, et cetera, that are, uh, let's say, equally um, uh, unusual or... Um, uh, distorted, but we could say persecutory delusions might be there as well. Well, if that hasn't got Oscar written all over it, I'll eat my invitation to the award ceremony. And thanks for joining Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications so the next time premiere a video, you can be in the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think. And a huge thanks to our channel members Robert Morley, Andy, Chris Kelling, Goddess of Truth, Pedro Wagamole, Pat's Cats, West Side Girl Reacts, Sean Oldfart, Drew B, CW1960, and Butcher Bird. If you'd like to become a member, just hit that join button right next to subscribe. Or click on it in the link in the description. And if you've made it this far, why not hit that thumbs up? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you'd like to support the channel, Hit that super thanks button, and I'll see you soon.